Right, this uh, may seem like it's clickbait and I'd kind of love it if it was because that would mean that there wouldn't be anything wrong with my car but there is genuinely an issue with my new car. So I've had it about two weeks and it's got what seems like, and I don't know the full extent of the issue at the minute because I've not had it looked at, but it's got what seems like is quite a serious problem. So for those that are new to my channel, quick like a brief uh, explanation on what I'm about and what my channel's about. I'm actually a car trader, okay? And I've recently bought this Audi RS6 as my own car. Um, the channel's obviously, it's called Calvin's Car Diary. Diary of a car trader. I buy and sell cars, so if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you give me a subscribe. And um, yeah, so I just mentioned that this is my new car and I literally bought it a couple of weeks ago and it's been absolutely fine. It's a 2015, Audi RS6 and it's stage two tuned, so it's not like a heavy level of tuning, um, pretty much just software and a little bit of external hardware. Um, and it's running at about just over 700 bhp, okay? So it's serious power, and you can see it is a beautiful car, yeah? And in the title of this video, you can see that I've got an issue with this car, and it is actually an issue with the engine, yeah? Yeah. The engine is, is it, yeah, that's not that's not ideal, is it? But um, I'll go. I'll take you through the sort of realms and the, or the issues that I've been having with it. Okay, so um, let's just. I'll drop the camera down. I'll walk you around the car because that arm's going to ache for the duration of this video. And what I'll also do is, on top of the camera, there's a mic. Spin that mic around. There we go, and we're into the video. So um, yeah, bought it a couple of weeks ago and went through this whole realm of, of choosing my next car and I sort of love GTRs. Um, I wanted something that had four doors or five doors or whatever, um, back doors, so because I've got a family and stuff. And this kind of ticked every single box going. The, the other box is massively ticked was value. Great value for money. Um, the money that I paid for it, I bought it below market value, so I bought it at the right money. Obviously, I'm a car trader, that's what I do. Um, so the fact that it's got an issue, I'm not too scared about, but obviously I hope that it's nothing too major, okay? Um, so yeah, I, I narrowed it down to an RS6. I got off of this car, I bought it, and I absolutely love it. I've driven it extremely hard for the period of time that I've owned it, the short period of time, and I went on holiday. For those that follow me on Instagram and on YouTube and stuff, you would have known that I went away with my family, proper nice chilled out family holiday, and the car was parked up for the week that I was away, yeah? I came back yesterday, yesterday morning, got up bright and early, so excited to get in the driver's seat of my new Audi RS6. Let me just show you the driver's seat, just to put you into the feeling of what this car is like inside, yeah? Beautiful place to be, such a nice car. Um, steering wheel, sort of a small, fat, chunky steering wheel. Gearbox, all very nice in there, yeah? Um, and obviously in excess of 700 bhp can imagine how excited I was yeah come home put my let me just jump in actually and start the engine let's see what it's doing right now because it's it's kind of like an intermittent problem so let me just spin the camera back around one second we'll do the mic as well and the start and stop button yeah it's just so, close that door because that's making annoying noises. Uh, start stop system, uh, start stop system at full passenger airbag on, blah blah blah. And at the bottom, you can see engine management light is flashing. Yeah. Um, let me just just so you're kind of aware of the like the seriousness of this issue. Let me just jump out a second. That's the bonnet latch. Yeah. Under the bonnet of this car is a four litre V8, V8 um, petrol engine, yeah? And it's got two turbos. 
right now it's actually running quite well yeah because it's warm when I got home from my holiday yesterday and I jumped in the drive seat and I started the engine because it's a V8 V8s generally generate a bit of rock yeah it was running on less than eight cylinders as a fact and the car was sort of rocking around I tried driving it it's in limp mode and it's just it's not delivering no power at all if you give it too much throttle it just dies there's no literally no life in it at all and um, now if I give it a little rev actually sounds all right at the minute and this is the thing it's so intermittent sometimes it's all right sometimes it's not all right um, I do have this Carly uh, dongle I've done a whole video on this thing this is actually quite good quite a good little handy thing to have for your car um, plug this in and on the screen right now you'll see the whole list of faults that it had yeah and it's pretty much loads of misfires in, in multiple cylinders but one thing that does stand out is an injector fault okay but like I said, got it for the right money, so bear this in mind when you're buying a car. You know, I run a car auction. I also sell, uh, at this point, we're gonna be doing retail and stuff like that. Um, this car has done 56,000 miles, so it's not really uh, an extremely low mileage car. The mileage ain't bad, and for a German car especially, it ain't terrible mileage, but um, it is tuned, yeah? Which tuning does, you know, tuning does play with the reliability of a car. This car has actually had a whole new engine um, re uh, engine replacement by Audi themselves. Uh, obviously that would be under warranty at, at right now, but because it's been tuned, um, I mean, I might, I might ask Audi the question, but I don't expect that they'll be um, willingly, let's switch that off because it's making a load of noise, willingly covering um, the, the repair on this engine yeah so i spoke to will at vrs uh because he's like my guy for for this type of work he's just he's not just a he's not he's not your average mechanic he does like tuning he's very audi and vw savvy so um it's going to get recovered there tomorrow in my life but by the time this video goes live it will already be there and um yeah he's not feeling well I don't want to jinx, my, whatever. We'll just see how, see how it unfolds. So in this video, I'm not going to be telling you um, what, what's actually wrong with it. I'd love to know what's wrong with it right now. Um, but injectors are seemingly a common fault. You know, when you go on Google, they kind of get showered with loads of negative stuff and you kind of think, bloody, what planet are people? Some people just like, it needs a whole new engine or you just, it's, it's blown up. Or people go into some serious details about installing fear into everyone's minds. I'm not really one for worrying about things. I don't really care about sort of negative stuff, but you know, this could be quite serious. Just, just face it, it's a big engine. It could be like quite a big cost. So um, we'll see. It does make um, good content, I suppose. This is my new car. And obviously with any new car you buy, you do not expect to get this. And I think that's quite a valid point because being a car trader, you know, we do sell cars via an auction, for an auction method. Uh, my company's called Binka. And you know, people, I bought this car, uh, for trade money like I say and when you buy a car f f at trade money you you buy it and expect that there's going to be maybe something wrong with it but let me just quickly nail a little point because I expect that I'm going to get comments below saying you've been stitched up Calv you've been sold a dodgy car that has happened to me literally I would say hundreds of times yeah people come to us to sell their cars and try and stitch us up with dodgy motors yeah that happens often which nearly every single time the odd one slips through the net but every single time we catch them out yeah because we're pretty good with this what we do for a living we buy and sell cars yeah with this car the fella that this car came from extremely sadly although i don't know myself but it's an awful story i don't know the ins and outs of it ins and outs of the story but he is sadly no longer with us okay so um his reason or his family's reason for parting with this car is not because it had an issue okay and bear in mind that if you haven't seen my first drive video you can go and check that out when i collected this car for a long period of time it was absolutely fine and the issue that i've got is like i said it is very sort of on and off um i didn't actually know until about 10 minutes before filming this video that it does sometimes run okay i've not actually experienced it running okay since the fault occurred yesterday if that makes sense so um yeah, I'm a little bit concerned, um, but I think it's just going to be a case of um, I'm going to get it recovered to Will at VRS 
and um, when I bought it it's got a service light on the dash I knew about that I knew it needs a service and um, I thought it's gonna go there anyway for a service these cars do have the odd little reliability issue and I think what I would love to do is um, try and solve solve these reliability issues you know come up with solutions try and work with uh, the, the issues of these cars because I'll be honest with you all usually when I get an issue on a car it puts me off the car it makes me think do not I need to sell it but I uh, despite not owning this car for very long at all it hasn't disheartened me whatsoever I absolutely like, I still feel like I really like this car and if anything I'm a bit concerned that I might have to accept that it's got a major fault and get rid of it um, but then I'm going to be back to sort of the drawing board with what to get next. So, um, and I don't want that to happen. I do really want to keep it. So, um, yeah, so it's going to go to VRS. And in the next video or couple of videos, we're going to be talking about hopefully uh, a solution to the problem. And hopefully I might have a video coming up very, I don't know, obviously, because right at this point, I don't know where I'm at with things. But, um, yeah, hopefully I'll have it solved sometime soon so um yeah i just thought i'd let you know i wanted this video to be uh like a, a couple of weeks of owning my rs6 and, and let you know how great it is and let you know sort of report back with loads of positive stuff this ain't a positive video i know but it's kind of like um it's the reality of owning a used car i suppose especially one that's been tuned to over 700 brakes so i'm gonna leave it as that um <laughs> I know this is quite a negative video, but if you liked it for any reason, like I'm trying to be positive here, uh, give it a like, yeah? And obviously, if you are new and you're interested in this type of car or car trading, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see ya in the next episode of Diary of a Car Trader, right? See ya. In the next episode of Diary of a Car Trader, I've got an update for you about the RS6 and I talk about maybe getting another new car.